Back in the day, surviving winter meant hunkering down and weathering the cold and dark months as best as possible. There was no such thing as central heating or reliable insulation. Hence, people had to get creative to stay warm. The ancient world was a tough place to live. The winters were long and hard, and food was often scarce. So how did people manage to get through the winter months? You may be wondering how ancient people survived winter. How did they stay warm? What did they eat and drink? What entertainment did they have? In this video, we'll look at how ancient civilizations would have coped with winter in the early days of history. The human race has always had to deal with the challenges of winter. Winter is a difficult time for everyone, but it can be especially difficult for ancient nomads with no access to electricity or other forms of heat. In the early days of our history, when people lived in small villages rather than cities or towns, they relied on firewood and animal fat as their main heat sources during cold months. They also used cannibals made from beeswax, which was expensive, or fish oil, which was not. Candlelight was used only at night, and even then, it didn't provide much light because there was no way to make them reflect off mirrors as modern tungsten lights do. Some cultures develop unique clothing designed specifically for extremely cold conditions like fur, while others invented snowshoes so they could travel safely across ice-covered pathways without falling into freezing water below them. How the Ancients Survived the Unforgiving Cold The human race has always had to deal with the challenges of winter. People wrapped their sleeping areas with animal skins to keep them warm at night. Stocking up food for winter and conserving firewood was all a necessity for survival. In milder regions like what is now Greece, people wore long robes that reached down to their feet or past their feet and had fur collars around their necks. They also used slippers to cover their feet. They wore a woolen hat or a cap covering their ears to protect them from freezing winds. People in Greece also used fireplaces to keep themselves warm on cold nights, as did other ancient civilizations like the Romans and Chinese. The ancient Greeks and Romans used braziers or portable metal grates to heat their homes. These were filled with hot coals and placed under tables or in the corners of rooms to provide warmth. Other methods included hanging tapestries on walls and over doorways to trap heat and to sleep on mattresses filled with straw or feathers. In addition to these traditional methods for staying warm during the winter, some ancient cultures used fireplaces or stoves to heat rooms indoors or cooked food outdoors on a large open fire. Extreme weather can be unforgiving if you don't have enough resources, most importantly, a house. Where did people live? In the days before electricity, people were forced to rely on their ingenuity and resourcefulness to keep warm. They would build shelters in caves or huts made of brush and branches with a fire burning inside. They also used snow as an insulator by covering themselves with it when they went outside into freezing temperatures. Families would huddle around fires to stay warm and often slept in shared beds to generate body heat. In some cultures, people burn animal fat or oil in lamps to provide light and heat. During winter, people in the ancient world typically stayed in their homes. This was partly because the weather was colder and more difficult to travel in, but also because there were fewer daylight hours. Even if you have a house, you still need something out of the ordinary to wear during this extreme weather. What do people do for their clothing? The clothing of people in ancient times was made of wool and fur. They wore hats, gloves, and boots. Some people wore robes, pants, or coats, or slippers on their feet. They used animal skins and furs to cover their bodies and wore special shoes with thick soles made of leather. They also wore gloves made from the same material so that their hands stayed warm. Of course, the most important thing for surviving winter had enough food and supplies to last until spring. This meant stocking up on preserved foods like dried fruits, meats, and root vegetables that could be stored in cellars or buried in the ground. So let's see how people were able to stock food. How did they stock food? For starters, they stockpiled food during the summer and fall months when fresh fruits and vegetables were abundant. They preserved these foods by pickling, drying, and smoking them. They also stored grains and legumes, which could be used to make soups and stews. However, in ancient times, people had to be very careful with their food during winter. They had to ensure enough to last them through the cold months. This meant that they had to store food carefully and ration it out. They also had to hunt and gather food that was available during winter. This could be very difficult and dangerous, as the weather was often very cold and snowy. In addition to stocking up on food, people also made sure to have plenty of firewood. They would use this wood to heat their homes and cook their food. And of course, they would also use it to stay warm during the long, cold nights. So that's how people managed to stock food through the winter in the ancient world. It wasn't easy, but they did their best to survive. People also had to be careful about conserving their firewood since it was needed for warmth and cooking and heating water. So a new question arises. How ancient Romans and Greeks come up with different ways to heat their homes. The ancient Romans were so efficient at conserving firewood that they had a saying. Dulcet decorum es pro patria mori. It is sweet and honorable to die for one's country. 
When it came to heating their homes with wood, the Romans knew how important it was to keep their firewood dry. They would stack up boughs and bundles that reached up toward heaven and then stack them neatly along the walls of their homes, where they could be easily accessed when needed. This method helped insulate against drafts while keeping moisture off wooden surfaces, so they didn't crack or fall apart. In addition to using wood for cooking food, candles made from beeswax, which was plentiful and animal fat, were often used as lighting sources during this time period. So much so that there were even competitions between towns about who produced more candles per year. In addition, Greeks had central heating systems called hypocausts beneath their flooring and walls, which provided continuous hot air in the living space above it, so that no one would ever feel cold, especially during nighttime when it gets even colder outside. Even though ancient ones did everything they could to survive, you still can't let disasters from not happening. Say it fate, so now let's look into it. What were the disastrous things that happened during ancient winters? Many disasters occurred during winters in ancient times. One of the most famous is the Great Flood of 479 BC. This disaster happened when a huge storm hit the Mediterranean Sea and caused the water level to rise dramatically. This caused widespread damage and loss of life and the destruction of many buildings and homes. Herodotus reports how Persian attackers who tried to exploit an unusual retreat of the water were suddenly surprised by a great flood tide higher, as the people of the place say, than any one of the many that had been before. Other notable winter disasters include the Roman invasion of Britain in 43 AD, which caused widespread damage and death, and the Great Fire of Rome in 64 AD, which destroyed much of the city. It burned for six days and destroyed much of the city. The Great Blizzard of 1888 dumped over 50 inches of snow on New York City and caused widespread damage and loss of life. In ancient times, people had to deal with winter. They had to find ways to survive the harsh conditions of the seasons. In this video, we looked at how people survived winter and how they prepared for it, as well as what they did during winter that helped them survive that difficult time of year. Thankfully, we now have much better ways of surviving winter, but it's still important to be prepared just in case the power goes out or a severe winter storm hits. So make sure you have plenty of food and warm clothes on hand and you'll be able to weather whatever mother nature throws. So let's end this video on a note to imagine yourself in winter as cold as it was in the Game of Thrones. What out of the way steps would you take to survive? Let us know in the comments and remember to subscribe.